step one of the conversion. Found this at a garage sale. It's an indoor outdoor uh, deck rug. Looks like it's about four by eight. Fits in here perfectly. Now, what do I do about the spare tire? I'm gonna hose this off, but this is a Michelin Defender 235 55 R18, made it to a 10 spoke aluminum wheel. This was $180, oh, plus 25 for mounting, so let's say 205. Um, but I did get two Michelin Defender tires with it, and uh, they're both in nice shape. Here's the next piece of the puzzle I've got a cot, paid $50 for this at a uh, Facebook marketplace. It's in almost brand new uh, condition. It's even got a uh, Kabila's logo on it. And it's tall enough where the spare tire will fit underneath. Here's what I'm doing with the spare tire. We know it'll fit underneath the cot. So I've got it ratchet strapped down to one of the metal latches from the rear seat. Uh, probably needs fine tuning, but this is proof of concept. A quick video of setup number one. Got the spare tire underneath the cot there, flashes kennel. And then we've got uh, the refrigerator. So that's kind of the uh, setup. Got Definitely storage underneath the bed there for, you know, some suitcases, easy um, get in and get out. And we're going to try a second setup. And then here's setup number two, uh, Kimberly Ann's idea. Um, put the kennel there, uh, cooler here, which is perfect because we've got a 12 volt um, battery there. Let you take a look at it from the front. We'll call this floor plan B. Definitely feels a little bit more cramped uh, at first. Definitely have the camping set up now for one person. We got the cod in there. But I gotta, I mean, I got some padding there with towels so it doesn't uh, go up against the uh, vent on the side of the cooler there. Um, we found that it would sag down and we'd be laying on the tire. So we propped it up a little bit. I got a towel under there uh, just to give it a little bit of lift off the tire. We put like an inch and a half memory foam underneath there. We've got a sleeping bag and, sorry about the light. It's definitely gonna work best with his uh, kennel back there because it really locks the bed in and keeps it from moving. Ultimately, I think that spare tire, it, it works under there. I found an option uh, I'm gonna try. It cost me $150 and here it is. Kunk -a chunk kunk 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 I got a Thule or whatever, however you call it, uh, cargo box. It'll definitely fit that uh, spare tire. This cost me $150 off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's intact, it's just a little dirty. I just gotta clean it up a little bit. Getting ready for the maiden voyage. Here we are, we are loaded up. We are gonna do the inaugural Shakedown Camping Cruise in the 2011 Sienna. I just threw a bunch of crap in here. Gonna drive four hours straight north. Got a great camping site uh, with excellent views of Lake Superior because it's Sunday. Just gonna go up there, have dinner, come home because I gotta work tomorrow. So, 
I didn't want to open and close that door all the time, which is what would wear out the motor and be probably thousands of dollars to fix. So now in day setup, we've got a full screen and just come and grab the magnets and come on in. Okay, got plugged in here at Temperance River State Park, Site 23. Flash, you got your stick? Good. Just a uh, quick uh, show on the setup. I've got a big screen in here. Just take one magnet off. And it's kind of being held in place by the door. And then the, the setup is no big deal. I've got my uh, electricity coming in through there. Um, plenty of storage under the bed. I've got my cooler. Got a battery operated bat, um, power fan. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to need it or not. But I do have a little uh, heater there. Got a lantern. Spare tire there under the bed. What more does a guy need? I am the sweet bandido, yeah.